So we take it for granted. Color. Our world is in color, our media is in color, our phones are in color, but it always wasn't that way. Color was an enormous driver of human imagination starting about 500 years ago with the advent of printing. Of course, printing wasn't in color, and that created extraordinary problems for medicine because medicine without color has almost no ability to create imagination. This is a Kethem, the first illustrated medical book. Printed in 1496, about 40 years after the invention of printing, you can see these are the kinds of illustrations in a Kethem. Here they're collecting urine, very important for this, which would be the diagnosis chart for what is wrong with you based on the color of your urine. But there's no color. So they began to paint the books, literally. And so this is the first color in a book used for diagnosis. You can see suddenly what's going on. And they took that color and they brought it here to try to show the body and here to explain the astrology and what is right and wrong with you, all your symptoms. And then we can go to here, which is the first illustration of surgery ever to appear in a book. And Sherwin was up here earlier and pointed out a few wonderful things. First of all, the professor is here. He's above it all. He's never operated on anybody, practically. The surgeon is a barber. He's here. The person's been knocked out with alcohol. This is the person who's the narrator of the surgery. And notice clearly the students who Sherwin pointed out, none of which were paying attention. <laughs> we're talking 1500, okay? So lastly, in this book for color, we're gonna show one more thing. Here is a picture of love in the first medical book ever illustrated. Notice the hand reassuring the patient of love. So even in the very first illustrated medical book, there was love. So we go from here and we see color get used on a grand scale. In 1747, Albinus decides to illustrate, we're gonna cheat here, a skeleton and the human body. And look here, with a lack of color, what is going on? Here is the skeleton, perfectly visible. Want to learn from that? I don't think so. Here's what Albinus does. He paints it. Right? When you used color, everything came alive. And it wasn't just color for the sake of color. It was color for the sake of beauty. The artistry here, look at the motion of where the, the anatomical hands are. The drape, literally the body in motion, not static. Here again, there's not just artistry, there's whimsy. Yes, that's a rhinoceros in the picture here, in an anatomical illustration. A rhinoceros. Wouldn't see that today. So how important is color? Well, let's go back to Massigny before we finish here. These were where we started on the first day, 1813, using iodine. He's showing these amazing anatomical illustrations. This is what went to the medical schools because there was no technology to print in color. But Massini paints three copies himself. This is the same work, exactly the same, in the original painting. These are his paintings, one of only three that survive in the world. And you can see how beautiful the color is when you take the life from black and white to color. So, color, one of the most amazing and taken for granted forms of driving our imagination. Thank you very much.